Hey everybody, Chris here at U-Joint Off-Road. This is a for sale video. I often get asked uh, price or is this rig for sale and the answer is 99% of the time no. But this is, this is my personal RV that I picked up in October. You may have seen it on our channel a few months ago when we first put it together. I did say that I was gonna sell it probably mid-April. So here we are, mid-late April. It's a 2021 E450. Forest River Forester 2861DS. If you want to Google that, you can get all the full geek specs on all the capacities and everything that came from Forest River. So I'll cover mostly uh, what we did to it with the modifications we made. Obviously it has our six inch four wheel drive conversion on 33 inch Toyo AT3s. Originally this thing had the mud terrains on it. Uh, we did swap it out a few weeks ago for the all terrains. So custom spec springs, front and rear as always. Six inch lift on 33s, single Fox 2.0. Uh, this has the Pro Comp La Paz wheel on it with a 285-70-17 up front. Stage two front axle, RSC upgrade, 456 gears, Detroit True Track, all the usual suspects and goodies that we put on our four wheel drive conversion. Crossover steering, track bar, single Fox 2.0 etc etc front bumper is our in-house made front bumper fully loaded worn winch baja design lights mixed it up a little bit and i went with two of the um amber fog and one clear spot this rig does have oba so you can see there's the front oba port it's got the factory 55 thimble and our u-joint agency 6 fair lead we swapped the factory chrome grill out for a black ford grill with some smoked amber leds under the hood is an S-Pod that controls the lights and the onboard air. So this is a 2021. It does have the 7.3 Godzilla V8, which I'm totally in love with. Awesome engine. It's got the 6R140 six-speed automatic behind that. And then behind that is the new process 1128F transfer case. Undercarriage mods, the only, only thing other thing than the four-wheel drive is the uh, OBA. So we've got the front OBA port and we've got one on each side also. That mid wheel base is what we try to do. Out back, we've got our 17 inch dually wheels that we just started using about, I don't know, a month ago. It's a Dodge wheel that we're machining for the E-Series hub bore and then sandblasting and powder coating. So out back, we've got a 255 80 17. Rear suspension is just all spring with overload airbags and a Hellwig sway bar. Forgot to mention it does have a Hellwig sway bar up front as well. Custom drive shafts front and rear as always. And that's it for exterior stuff besides the solar. So this thing came with 100 watts of solar. It wasn't quite enough to even run the fridge. Uh, so to avoid running the generator all the time, we added an additional 200 watts of solar. So we've got 300 watts of solar on the factory um, dual batteries for the coach. And that's worked out really well. Um, don't have to run. The battery capacity gets down to about, I don't know, 65, 60% at night. And then charges up, usually by, by lunchtime, it's always 100% charged. I like this model for a few reasons. One, it has two slides um, and everything is functional with the slides in. So if I'm on a road trip, I just wanna pull over and go to sleep, I just crawl in the back. I don't have to put slides out or deal with any of that. To, uh, to crash. Another big feature of this rig for me was the outdoor kitchen. If you saw my Sherpa trailer, you know, everything was done outside, which is the way I prefer at camp. And I just couldn't see myself getting a class C and cooking inside. It just didn't, wasn't gonna work. When we did one of these for our uh, Dubai guys a couple years ago, I said, this is the one I want. So we did make some mods out here. We eliminated the refrigerator. Um, it was only it only worked on 110 when you were plugged up or had the generator running, which is just silly. So I got rid of it. I tried to find a nice 12 volt replacement and I couldn't find anything that really fit well. So I wound up just using that area for storage and it worked out well. Same for the TV. I didn't, I don't watch TV at camp. Um, so I eliminated the TV and then we added this ring to trim it out and act as a little lip to keep stuff from flying out. I use that for all my cooking supplies. It's super helpful having the sink outside and you got plenty of storage. 
Another mod we made out here was, all it came with was that dinky little light. So we added some LED strips to light up the cooking area at night. Plenty of storage. <clears throat> this one in the rear goes full width. This is where I kept up some of my cooking gear and uh, all my camp chairs and long things. Another storage bin here I use for more cooking supplies. This also has the factory airbag uh, port, but we move those to the rear hitch. A little more accessible, easier to use. Here you can see the passenger side OBA port. More storage. This rig's got a lot of nice storage and it's all convenient stuff. It's really cool. So, now let's move to the inside. All right, moving inside, standard RV stuff. Got all your controls here. There's a solar controller, the leveling jacks, exterior lights, awning mount. What's cool is this light's on a motion light, which is nice. And same for the bathroom. Um, that's turned out to be really convenient. Standard control panel here. Uh, the slides are out. So here we've got the kitchen sink. It's got a little extra thing that comes up there. Here's the fridge, good size, fridge and freezer. Moving to the back shower pretty standard rv stuff and the i guess what i would call the bedroom slide is out on here it's got a nice size bed plenty of storage nice closet space and drawers and the tv another benefit of this particular rv is when you open the bathroom door the bathroom becomes much larger so you have a lot more room to move around you don't feel so cramped there's a the bathroom standard stuff Got an uh, exhaust vent there, and uh, yeah, blinds on all the windows. Here's the heat and AC control, and light switches and the slide switch. Moving back up front, you've got your microwave and stove combo. To, uh, I never used it, and I don't think the previous owner used it at all. Tons of storage above the couch. This couch goes down to the bed and also has two, or I'm sorry, three seat belts on it, which is nice. Uh, the dinette, of course, goes down into a bed as well and has two seat belts. Got a big overhead bunk. It's got chargers up here and a little bit of storage. It's kind of neat. Um, it also has these curtains to close it off and the big TV. Got a ladder there. Here's the uh, sound control. So this controls the interior speakers, the exterior speakers. Lots of little remotes, some more storage. A lot of stuff I never even used. We just don't do that type of camping. Um, up front, we've got the S-Pod on the dash. Controls the lights and the OBA. Got the big screen um, that came from Forest River. Uh, the rig has 6,700 miles on it right now. I don't have any trips planned. We basically, I just cleaned it out to sell it. So I'm, and I'm expecting it to sell pretty quick. This seat swivels. So if you're in this mode and you want to turn that around, you gain another seat. <clears throat> Actually came with a little booster seat over there. You can strap into the driver's seat. And it does have our two-piece shifter. So you can pull the shifter apart to help with the seat swinging. That's pretty much it for inside. Nice setup, super comfortable. All right, so there's my video tour. Turn the lights on for you. So to summarize, 2021 E450 73, six inch lift on 33s, has 6,700 miles. Asking price is 139,000. We're currently booking about 12 to 14 months out, at least right now. So uh, this rig's ready to go right right now, like today. Come and get it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, Chris at youjoinoffroad.com, and uh, hopefully it goes to a good home. Thanks for watching.